I didn't want us to stereotype Appalachia, and I don't think we do. I think people will be proud of their stories because they are they are perceived as not just victims, but people who are fighting back from oppression, from a century of oppression. And then the other thing is we have a really strong storyline about medication-assisted treatment, um, which at the at the beginning, I think maybe the first time I mentioned it, you thought was a little wonky because it no, is no, no, a no, little it was in the weeds. To me, it would, there there was a certain elements of it that I was like, well, that might be tricky to dramatize, but the story overall, I absolutely wanted to end the show with that, with those concepts. Right, and, yeah. and including this massive division, as you guys know, between abstinence only, which grows out of the fact that addiction was always the stepchild in healthcare, and what science says is the gold standard of care for opioid use disorder, which is buprenorphine and methadone. So you see people being stigmatized at 12-step meetings. You see all different kinds of rehab, many of which aren't working, which we know American families are remortgaging their houses to do exactly what science says you shouldn't do. And so I think by the end, like, you can read all that and all the, all the, uh, articles and books, but to see it play out in, in drama, you really, it makes it understandable. Yeah, I think it's actually one of the most important things the show does, mm -hmm. is is it shows these therapies uh, in a positive light. They're controversial and stigmatized, and, and you know, it's like, it's like having insulin stigmatized, right? I, I, they should not be stigmatized. And, uh, and I think that this show could hopefully move the needle on that, even if, say, twice as many people that need these uh, treatments go on them, it'll be such a huge, wonderful victory, but, but maybe we can move the needle even further on it.